Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on June 20th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. We're going to start out here looking at our sun. Pretty quiet sun. We did have a little sunspot come around, calling it a little sunspot fart as it ejected a CME, coronal mass ejection. And that is not incoming because it was not earth facing. But that's pretty much the only action to talk about is a little bit, some filament eruptions, as well as that small CME from the sunspot there that created and then disappeared after it farted. <laughs> So here on the Emerald Spiral, showing that there was an outgoing CME that occurred last night. You can see it here. Not Earth directed, obviously, and that is on the back side of the sun. Smashing right into the energy from the other small backside CME. Let's get to earthquakes last 24 hours. Look at this. This is a very busy earthquake map for the last 24 hours. Most recent here, 5.1 in north of Dili, East Timor. And look at all these earthquakes in Fiji and New Zealand. Looking for a particular deep earthquake here. Oh, watch this. 5.2 in Nidoi Island, Fiji at a 622 kilometer depth. So we know from the past that anytime we have a large, very deep earthquake like that, we can expect a same size larger or larger, sorry, shallow earthquake to follow. And then strange earthquake here in Raventhorpe, Australia, New Zealand going off. So the Southern hemisphere, definitely some exper experiencing an uptick in seismicity. 4.5 here, East Chile rise. 5.5 early this morning in Argentina. That's a large earthquake for Argentina. 5.3, Bristol Islands. Now this is a region that is being bombarded by very large and deep low pressure centers and a lot of rain. Across Oklahoma in Perry reporting a 3.0 as well as Moreland reporting a 2.6. Some small earthquakes here today in California, 3.2 for Irwin, as well as the geysers, a 2.5. And if you ever want to keep up on the geysers and the action around Yellowstone, be sure to check out Ben Furriello. He's a great seismologist and he does a lot of great work. Check out his channel. His link will be in the description below. As well, I want to, ex I want to talk about something else here. I'm excited to say that I have an interview tomorrow night here on YouTube. I'm going to be going live tomorrow evening with Forbidden Knowledge News. Not everybody knows who this guy is, but he pretty much does what I do. Just posting daily events, se severe weather events, earthquakes, and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to be talking about a few things. Please join us tomorrow night for the live stream. It is scheduled for 10 p.m. Central Time. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep ones all around the planet, except for Africa. But still, very busy. Seven days for earthquakes. And we're going to go over here to the Pacific Disaster Center. And just, you know, as I'm looking at all the disasters from around the world, they just seem to be increasing. And now every continent is experiencing flooding, as well as droughts extreme weather events, large hail storms, fires, forest fires. This is all listed here. You can get this app yourself, the Pacific Disaster Center, disaster alerts, and yeah, check it out. You can stay aware and prepared like I do. Across North America, mostly floods, tornado warnings, across the Asia Pacific, we're looking at earthquakes, large earthquakes, as well as extreme heat in India. 
fires in Russia. Very busy planet we're living on today, and when it comes to disasters, even mainstream media is really starting to talk about it now too. Our Canadian government is taking in more environmental refugees than we ever have before. Almost 8 million people have been displaced due to natural disasters in the past two years. And it is quickly climbing as the ev these events are climbing. Here's that most recent earthquake, 5.1 in East Timor. So, stay aware, prepared. Looking at new volcanoes as well, Sengengang, Api, as well as Simaru. These are new earthquake or new volcanoes that have recently erupted. As well as Nevados de Chile, Reventador, Sangay. And look at these low pressure centers. This is the actual satellite imagery of the low pressure centers that are under South America right now. Atmospheric compression events. Look at these earthquakes right underneath of them. One there, and then over Bristol Island. Large low pressure center, and look at all the rain associated with it. So atmospheric compression earthquakes are happening more often now as well. Atmospheric compression events are happening as well with these large hailstorms, atmospheric rivers that stretch all across the Pacific Ocean. Let's get to that five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Overlooking North America, most of Canada, Western Canada, receiving this large low pressure center that is going to stall and bring down a lot of very cool temperatures as well as a lot of rain. High pressure ridge locking itself in over the Hudson's Bay. So the cool temperatures are persisting throughout Canada while the Gulf is heating up. And that's why we're getting these extreme storms throughout the United States. Looking across Europe, still low pressure center throwing in Pacific or Atlantic moisture. Yesterday they had some nasty storms and flooding conditions from the torrential downpours. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and into Northern South America, no tropical storms to talk about, which is good. Atlantic hurricane season still seems to shh. And here in the Pacific as well, just, I mean, I've, I haven't seen maps look like this before. Those deep blues and purples that are popping up during the day, and the daytime heating throughout the equator is an anomaly. High pressure ridge in place over Eastern Pacific. And just looking over Asia right now. And we have an atmospheric event happening right now. Look at the line of moisture. It goes from Mongolia all the way up. We're also watching here on the Pacific. We do have a typhoon forming later in the week. It's not even showing here on Medio Earth, but definitely there will be at least a Category 1 typhoon heading towards the Philippines. And just look at how all these rainy conditions south of Nepal, as well as India. It's increasing. Grand Solar Minimum is here. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Much love. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.